it's affecting our business already because, of course, as 80% of our passengers are British, most of our revenue is coming in sterling. Our costs are in euro because we are a French flag uh, company. So it's affecting our business because the pound is worth a lot less against the euro versus last year. So already the first knock is on our profit, profitability. And of course, the long term is uh, when the pound is low, the Brits have less um, purchasing power when they travel. So of course, they would, they could be an impact. Although six, 16 was a very, very good year and 17 will be not quite such a good year, like wine is a fantastic year and good year. Um, it'll be a bit down, but the mo to answer your question, um, the real straightforward knock is about the pound and the value of the pound because of our revenue stream. How concerned are you about the various different types of Brexit? I mean, what, for example, would it mean for you were the UK to leave the EU without there being a deal in place? On the passenger side, you have to have in mind that Britain is not in Schengen today. So there is already a lot of control. Uh, there's still passport control and all of that. So even in a no-deal scenario, the worst case would be that on top of that, there would be visa application. And that would certainly not be good, that's for sure. However, there is not, there's already some kind of control. I think they would be more problematic on the freight side because, of course, the free flow of uh, goods would be completely, we would go back in time. So the reintroduction of customs checks yes. at the channel ports is, would be a big concern to you? Yeah, for sure it wouldn't be a good thing. Um, but uh, I hope and I do believe that uh, we will find a deal. I hope so. What sort of uh, lobbying are you doing in France to try and persuade the French government to not to punish the UK for its decision to leave the EU? Well, what we're doing at the moment is we are trying to, through the Chamber of Shipping in the UK, through Armateur de France, which is the equivalent of Chamber of Shipping. My chairman is the chairman of Armateur de France. We are just making sure that we have the right channel to communicate when the negotiation starts. Okay, they've started Monday, it's a bit early days. So what we want to make sure is that we can talk on both sides of the channel to hopefully bring sense if we do feel that the negotiation become tough because I do hope that uh, is the economics that will prevail over national pride or things like that. So to answer your question, we are today not lobbying actively. We're just making sure they know that we are willing to and we are important for both sides, for the trade, for the uh, exchange between the two countries. So we are just ready. The trade has been somewhat uh, more soft this year than last. Is that affecting the way you're running the business? Are you still continuing to invest? Indeed. Well, it's affecting, it's not affecting the way we run the business, it's affecting our bottom line for this year. However, we remain very confident that uh, things will sort itself out. We've always looked at in Britain Ferries at the future with confidence. We're not worried when the company has gone through different difficult time and we've always managed to go through. And it was the right time anyhow. And uh, we've announced just of late this new building that will join the Ponce Muscan route. The ship will be named the Enfleur. And she will be the first LNG vessel, uh, the first LNG ferry on the channel. So we are confident. And uh, despite, never mind Brexit, we move on and we still look uh, to the future with confidence.